Hey, what's up? Carl here. Now today I'll be showing you guys how to go from here to here with that guy frozen. Let's get to it. Yes, I'll be showing you guys how to get an awesome looking freeze frame sequence within Final Cut. It's quite a useful trick to have up your editing sleeve. Just a note that I should make before we get stuck into it. To make your life easier and for this effect to look its best, your clip should be a static shot. A tripod shot or your camera mounted to something stable will probably do the trick. Also, if you can get the shot on a plain or neutral background, it will also help. Okay, I'll see you guys in Final Cut. Right, so to start off, you should have your clips ready and waiting in FCP. You're going to want to find various frames or points in the clip to use. This can be a handful or a whole bunch. Your video clip will determine what will look best. My advice is to set markers at the various points to help you out for the next steps. With the frames chosen, we will now export those frames as still frames or PNG images. When exporting though, label the images with whatever naming preference you want, but add the time code to the end of the name. It'll help you out with reminding you where to place these frames in your timeline. With all the frames exported, we need to import them into our edit and connect them at their various time code locations respectively. For the more astute and for the ones who've edited in Final Cut before, we'll see a potential problem. The topmost clip is the one that will be played in the viewer, which in this case is a still frame and not ideal at all. Selecting the topmost frame and opening the inspector window, scroll down to the compositing menu. Locate the blend mode drop down menu and select darken. As you can see, our video clip is now visible. Repeat this step for the rest of the still frames in the sequence. Once you're happy with the look, drag out the duration of the still frames to match the duration of the video clip because we do want to see the still frames play throughout the duration of the clip. Unless you want to do something with them using transitions or other effects, it's up to you. If your clips don't look completely right, or the blending mode has added some unwanted effects, masking off the still frames can help you get a smoother look. In the effects browser, head over to the keying section. Select and apply the mask to all your still frames. Go to the first frame and mask off just the subject. You can always add more masks to get a better or more accurate masking. Apply this masking technique to the rest of your still frames and you're done. So there we have it. You guys can hopefully now achieve an awesome looking freeze frame sequence with your edit. If not, you can go back and watch the video again. It's cool. We can wait. Okay, we're cool. Awesome stuff. Thanks for watching today's video. If you liked what you saw, please go ahead and drop a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more tutorial videos like this in the future, please go ahead and sub over. Oh, didn't know he was still there. Sorry. Cool. If you'd like to see more tutorial videos like this in the future, please go ahead and click that sub button over there. If you'd like to follow me on my various social platforms, the links are down there. But as for me, Carl, see you guys next week. Take care.